We're on the riverbank down by the nunnery to find out what's causing concern over pollution. Water pollution levels are on the increase and I'm with Environment Minister uh, Phil Gorn. What's causing the problem? Well, I think there's a, a range of different things. Um, what the overall trend is still quite positive in that we are seeing a, a reduction over a, a period of time. But certainly the last two years there have been an increase. Now, 2012, uh, if you remember, we had an extraordinarily wet uh, summer, uh, so that could have had some uh, impact in, in terms of river pollution. Um, but generally speaking, I think the issue is that people seem to think that, uh, well, if you just put, put it into the river, no one will notice and it'll disappear. Um, and we're trying, again, uh, possibly even through this interview, to just to get the message out to people that it's not acceptable just to pour uh, dodgy chemicals or, or, or uh, whatever it might be into the river. You know, we, we actually believe that we should have a pristine uh, inland uh, um, or, or rivers uh, uh, in the Isle of Man. So this is something that's happening that, that local firms are actually uh, causing a problem here and I believe there have been some prosecutions over the last couple of years. Yes absolutely we have uh, had to prosecute people and I say had to because ideally we don't want to prosecute anyone we want to work with people we accept that mistakes can make uh, can be made uh, and we don't actually want to prosecute but um, if it comes to it we will prosecute people uh, you know the, the rules are there for a reason we're not you know, just sitting in, uh, in our offices thinking how can we make life miserable for people who have <laughs> who want to dump terrible things in the river uh, you know we're doing this because it is right to try and keep the rivers clean and uh, keep a, a pristi as pristine an environment as we can you've got a lot of interest from anglers in, in terms of uh, the fish that they can catch from the rivers. There's actually quite a lot of uh, interest from people off the island as well wanting to come over uh, and, and fish uh, more because we have such a good uh, uh, network of, of, of uh, rivers. Uh, so the more we can do to encourage the public and uh, people who might be uh, near rivers, uh, working near rivers, to, to just be careful. So, so other things, uh, other than just pouring things into the river, uh, would in, in involve um, perhaps somebody going in, into a river with a digger, doing what they think are quite reasonable works to shore up a bank or something. But actually, if they do it at the wrong time, they can act, they can cause a lot of silt to go into the river and cause serious damage to, to spawning fish, for example. So. Um, there's, there's a range of issues here. It is very important that uh, we take this seriously. Um, the department will prosecute if it has to, uh, but ideally we want to encourage people to do the right thing. So what you're saying to people is before they, before they do anything, to get in contact and make sure that they're not damaging this environment? Yes, ideally that's, that's, that's the best way to, to, to do it. Talk to the department. Um, Yes, we're, we're operating with a reduced staff, as most departments of government are these days, but uh, we're always happy to hear from people who have any concerns, want to know what uh, the best practice is and how, how they should go about things. And I'm sure there's advice on the website as well uh, in, in terms of uh, how to, to go about this.